1986 and Martin Luther King Day was celebrated as a federal holiday for the very first time, The Legend of Zelda premiered on the Nintendo video game system, and Halley's Comet returned for another near-Earth appearance. For Microsoft, 1986 proved to be a slimming one, as a January survey of lunchroom consumption revealed that Diet Coke topped the employee popularity list. On January 30th, Microsoft and Santa Cruz Operation announced new agreements and joint marketing plans concerning Microsoft Networks for Xenix. In February, His Royal Highness Prince Charles of Great Britain visits the Microsoft showroom at the Infomart in Dallas. He compliments Jerry Rutenberg, Vice President of Retail, and Shelly Jones on the color and graphics of the Microsoft Windows demonstration given to him by Jan Josephs. And later that month, Microsoft moved to its new corporate campus, Buildings 1 through 4 in Redmond, Washington. On March 13, 1986, Microsoft stock went public at $21 per share, rising to $28 per share by the end of the first trading day. The initial public offering raised $61 million. In other tech news, Compaq Computer Corp. makes the Fortune 500 faster than any other company ever. Apple Computer introduced the Macintosh Plus and LaserWriter printer. And Teddy Ruxpin, a talking bear with a built-in microchip, brings computer technology to preschool. Back at Microsoft on April 22, 1986, direct shipment of software to the Republic of South Africa was stopped, and the relationship with the local distributor was terminated due to the South African government's policy of apartheid. Previously, support for anti-apartheid activities had been demonstrated by the donation of all profits earned from South Africa software sales to the American Friends Service Committee. On May 9, 1986, Microsoft Press releases Windows, the official guide to Microsoft's operating environment by Nancy Andrews. This is the first book available and is a complete introduction to the basic operations of the Microsoft Windows environment the seven Windows desktop applications, and using Windows Write and Windows Paint. On July 3rd, IBM announced the PC Convertible, which uses 3.5-inch disks. Consequently, all application software that runs on Microsoft MS-DOS programming languages, hardware, and Microsoft Windows products will be made available on 3.5-inch disks. July 21st, 1986, Bill Gates makes the cover of Fortune magazine for the first time and is featured in an eight-page article entitled The Deal That Made Bill Gates, age 30, $350 million. On August 20th, Microsoft begins shipping Excel, Word, File, Multiplan, and Chart for the Macintosh on 800K double-sided disks. On September 5th, Steve Ballmer completes the first Trans Lake Bill G. Swift after losing a challenge to the MS-DOS 5 team to complete their bug fixes by September 1st. September 17th, Microsoft announced the availability of extensions to MS-DOS that support the use of CD-ROM disk drives with personal computers. On October 2nd, Microsoft Works for the Macintosh ships. On October 10th, the Microsoft Systems Journal magazine makes its debut. It's targeted towards software developers. Now this is the first issue devoted exclusively to Windows. On October 22nd, Aldis, Hewlett Packard, and Microsoft form a desktop publishing alliance to market their products as a complete desktop publishing solution. By the end of the year, Microsoft shipped a stack of products. Microsoft ended the 1986 fiscal year with sales totaling more than $197 million and an employee headcount of 1,153 people. And the future looks bright for Microsoft as they acquire a forethought, which will put them on the forefront of desktop presentations.